Yo, what's up everybody, it's Tuna. I wanted to give you guys a little update on my current strategy, my build, and what I've been doing for my currency. So I'm about 50 divines into the league, and I've amassed uh, you know, a lot of different materials and things like that that are still yet to sell. And I've been doing that just by basically going Alk and Go in either Beach or Strand, which are the two maps that I've favorited. Uh, for this to work really well, you need to actually get most of your favorite slots. You want at least, uh, you know, eight of these so that you can actually start sustaining everything with singular focus. But I'll talk a little, about, a little bit about the Atlas in a second here. My build at right now is in the early stages of progression, and I am still using Shadows and Dust and not the Rage setup. However, um, you know, it's very effective of clearing maps. It's the Lightning Arrow build that I've at least started. That I've also made a guide for, so if you want to check that out, uh, you know, you're free to do so. And if you're still on the fence about, you know... Um, what build you want to play, maybe you're starting on console next week, I, I highly recommend this build, it's been phenomenal so far. The strategy that I've been running is to go Alk and Go with Stream of Consciousness, and I'm trying to get Expedition or Legion in my maps. Legion is going to fill me up with a ton of maps, as well as uh, Bubblegum Currency that is going to enable me to uh, you know, convert that into uh, Divines, or also any mapping uh, materials that I would like, uh, you know, like anything that I need basically. But essentially, also, the great thing about the Legion is that it gives you a ton of incubators. And these incubators are obviously things that you want to put onto your character. And you can see here I'm incubating um, a lot of like currency shards, expedition items, and things like that. So anytime those run out, I will re-top up my character. And when they pop, then I will get a um, you know various different rewards, such as currencies, maybe scarabs, things like that. And uh, I also have a ton of these, which are not super expensive. They're about like you know, 15c each for the green and yellow, and then the rest ones are like going to be like 5c each. Uh, but you can sell them sort of in sets for a bit of a premium, and if you have bulk of them, then people will pay a little bit more for those as well. Another thing is you get a ton of donation cards to turn in. So yeah, that's really nice. And there's actually a new Divine Orb uh, card here, the Fortunate. And this card is actually dropping from every sunny map in the game. So in my, in my case, I am running a beach map in combination with Strand. Strand unfortunately does not drop it, but beach map does. And an alternative for this strategy is that you could also run, um, you know, Mesa with Dunes, and both of those maps actually drop uh, the card. But in my situation, I, I felt like going Beach and Strand because they're better layouts, they're more suited towards Expedition. And Expedition right now with the new Keystone is, in my opinion, um, amazing. Well, what I've done for my Atlas is I've blocked a few mechanics, I've gone all in on uh, the Legion, and uh, all in on the map nodes as well. See you here. I've taken some shrines because shrines are going to help you a ton to clear your maps. They're going to make you go a lot faster and they're going to sort of, um, you know, at this stage of progression, our characters are not insanely strong. So if we get a giant shrine or a speed shrine or anything like that, we're going to be so much stronger than, um, than we would otherwise. So essentially it's going to enable you to take on content that is um, maybe a little bit harder than your build should be able to take. That we've invested fully into those two mechanics we're basically going the all can go approach to um you know to farming these so that would be you know roll your map just alk them and put it in and hope that you spawn the mechanic and i'll showcase that right here so one eternity later um whoops <laughs> so yeah basically how we're going to be running our maps is we're going to be uh, chiseling we're going to be alking them and then we'll just be hoping that the mechanics that we have specced into spawn since we're not using scarabs for them and using stream of consciousness that is going to be quite a high chance uh however there is a possibility of course that you will not be uh, spawning them but as, that is quite a low chance so yeah we're just hoping here now to run through and find the mechanics we that we specced into and we got a shrine here, and of course it's an, it's an acceleration shrine, and that is actually amazing. Like, an acceleration shrine is so much fun. So when you find one of these, basically it's just fun guaranteed. Alright, I'm really hoping to find the... Uh, I'm really, really hoping to find a mechanic here. Yeah, the lining arrow build so far has been, honestly, absolutely amazing. I've been using a return projectile gem, and I think this gem is just incredible. Because instead of actually going for um, chain, right, I am now taking pierce on the tree and then putting return projectiles in. And that gives you so much early power, right? And you can see here from this legion clear, it's it's pretty insane. So with our legions, we are like clearing them really efficiently. And since we have rampage and the shrines, we're, it's just going to be really, really, really smooth. Like mapping with this build has been really nice. And 
I honestly can't, just can't stop mapping. I'm just putting in map after map after map. And it's just been really, really fun. Ironically, the, like, ironically, the only thing that's been stopping me these days is uh, we have like a massive heat wave in Italy at the moment. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm Italian. There we have a massive heat wave and it's been 37 degrees uh, yesterday during the day. And today it's going to be like 38. And next week it's going to go down the temperature. But yeah, that's why I've been waking up at like 1 a.m. Instead, so I can play through the night instead of um, through the day because it's just way, 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 way too warm. Yeah, from that legion, we ended up getting, you know, some incubators, some divination cards, and that is at zero cost. And you're going to be getting a ton of uh, scarabs and whatnot. And yeah, overall, in general, like it's, it's just a lot of bubblegum currency. And you're going to have a ton of things to sell over time to convert. And you can sell those things, you know, directly off of your stash tabs or on TFT. Um, whatever you prefer, right? It's up to you how you sell those things. But essentially, you're going to want to be selling those uh, whenever you get them. And you get a ton of raw chaos too. So, yeah. Oh, well, one thing that I really recommend everybody does, just get a dump tab, right? Like pricing everything individually is, is really hard in Path of Exile, especially early league when there isn't a big availability of things. You just want to basically have a dump tab, put everything in your dump tab, and if people spam whisper you for something, that's when you know you should be price checking, right? You're basically using trade to price check your stuff. Um, I know it sounds weird to do, but essentially that's, yeah, this is the, just the best way to do it if you're just going to be speed mapping. And we got another acceleration shrine, you know, that you can't make this up. I literally have the, the streamer seed. I'm really hoping to find an expedition because I, I want to show you guys just how cool the big bomba is. Oh, here we go. I've really been having a ton of fun with this, um, this, you know. So here we have Divination Duplicate. I guess we can click that because the alternative would be, you know, just getting a little bit of, uh, huh. uh minus three crit multi per power charge. Okay, that's, that's really bad, honestly, since I'm a crit build. That... What you do is you have the massive bomba. So you just put it here in the middle, boom, detonate. And then you want to save up your Va lining arrow and you just zap everything around you. And it's it's insane. Like, it's so much fun. Look at this. The less FPS, the more fun. So yeah, that's that's the new expedition. And it's actually just so much fun. And since I am a Trinity build, um, you know, unless you got like triple immunity, you're still able to clear these. And I've just been having a blast, right? One click, and then you just get all that loot, and you're basically done. I'm just gonna go through here and clear the rest of the map real quick. So I will have uh, both Alice trees in the description for you guys to take a look at. Essentially, there's, uh, there's a few different variants that I would recommend, but uh, specking into either... You just can't go wrong specking into Legion or Expedition. And you can see here, sometimes you get both two legions uh so one legion and one expedition or sometimes you just get a legion you know there's times where you won't get any mechanic whatsoever but then since you are like really able to sustain it, it's not really like much of a much of a problem just be having like a ton of maps since uh legion drops a ton and you can see here the just the amount of loot that you get it's insane uh, i'm gonna just check, take a quick look at all the items on the floor and pick up everything Yeah, you're gonna need a pretty good filter for this as well. Um, so I make filters that you guys can follow. However, you need to keep in mind that the f my filters are um, specific right now to bows, right? To lining arrow, because in the early game, you're still gonna wanna pick up a bunch of rare items. And yeah, I'm only really showing like evasion bases, bows and things like that. But if you do wanna follow my filters, uh, I will link my profile. You see that I have any filter that is called bows, so it's going to be bows uh, and bases. So this is going to show you like thicket bows, uh, sorry, spine bows and some claws. Early end game is when it's going to start hiding those things and be a little bit stricter. Bows end game is what I'm using right now, and um, there's another one called SSF bows early, which essentially is, you know, um, when you first start out, this is going to be the leveling filter that you want to follow on lining arrow. It's basically going to take you all the way to red maps. That, that is honestly a ton of loot for, loot for one map. The exotic coinage here are like six chaos each. So we made a ton of currency just from those and the incubators and all that kind of stuff. So 
that is uh, that is my mapping strategy and a quick little update of what I've been doing for the past two days to amass all this currency. There's probably going to be like some small changes I want to make on my tree today. So, for example, I'll probably remove these blockers and go into this or, you know, try to finish a little bit more of my atlas because doing the Maven invitations, I'm at three out of 11 right now. And, you know, finishing those, it's going to give me a little bit more points. I still got like 10 points that I can fill out. So, you know, maybe getting like, you know, the additional chance to spawn and quantity of artifacts and that kind of stuff is like going to be really good for me. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just the just sort of like a quick video for you guys to uh, update you guys on everything. And I hope you've had a great league start. Um, I will keep you guys updated on what's going on and what I've been doing, you know, in my progress in the next few days. That is just a quick and easy strategy for you guys to follow. And I hope you guys can make uh, tons of currency. Yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.